But the first CS2 major has concluded, and we have Navi as the winners. Congratulations to them. They've been playing super well, and today I'm going to be going straight into it, giving you my analysis on the matchup. But getting into the pistol rounds here, I think that this pistol, this is really strong to have dualies in A main. And I th actually think that if Kerrigan had like his players that were behind him, if they actually had anything besides util, if they had armor, I think they would have tried to kill him, but they don't end up going for that. They want to do like this A fake as these guys are out mid. So they know that they're out mid. They know that they're not playing on mid here. And as soon as they start throwing these nades, that's when the mid players are going to start to play. So here we have Rain under house and he hears Alexi jumping at this moment. He's saying right now to Brookie, yo, this guy's jumping. Let's 3, 2, 1 peek this. Now, Brookie can't really get like a clean peek off this, but he has to just find a good timing in between the jumps and he gets the kill on Alexi. He keeps playing here and he sees JL at the end. So he's probably assuming 2B. If JL's holding that, then there's one more guy that's holding B. So these guys start playing and they're getting this crunch. Bit gets mollied out. Rain plays off of that where I am has to look at the guys in A site and I am didn't have like a very easy choice there either. He kind of had to honestly he he was just in a really tough position. So on this round we're going to see FaZe doing an A rush at the very beginning and th this is something that teams do a lot of time where they'll start off like the half conditioning something where they want the other team to, to be scared or respect that part of the map. A lot of times people they'll end up playing three mid but here Navi they have wonderful already here. He's here to molly it and also, another small thing is Bit is uh, in house. He doesn't see a smoke, and he knows already. They already have the info. Molly's them back, and now we're just gonna see them all converge uh, onto A, nuking the smoke, mollying out big box, and now we're just gonna get the chaos of all these guys coming out. Just a really good, uh, really good hold. I think that Navi just played like a really good, like safe round here. Let's look at the Navi side here. They are going to be playing this setup a lot. They're going to have one guy A, two guys mid, and I am, he's jumping out mid. He's going to do this flash off donut. Bit is going to be behind the house smoke spamming. And I am, he's key. I think that he's over committing a little bit here on this spray. I think he could have jumped back into donut. And Bit gets super tagged up too. And now Wonderful is stuck in Donut. He even makes a sound cue that he's in Donut, which makes this kind of tough. Luckily enough, he gets here in time into CT to be able to kill Kerrigan. And now I like how FaZe, they slow down the round. They just chill in Donut. They can't really do too much. They can't end the round. And now they're kind of playing off of Brokey here. And th this is so unfortunate. When I watch this, I'm like, I'm like, dang, this actually happens all the time. But it feels really bad when it does. But Frozen gets the kill. So as soon as Frozen gets that kill on Alexi, sees him. Kills him after getting gush and then pre-fires Brokey, actually just saving the round. And then Bit was here the whole time, so he knows that he's not out. He has to grab Bomb from the guy in Elbow. And this was a really nice reposition because Bit has A pretty much on lock. Like, there's pretty much no way that he's going to lose. I would have even thought that Bit, he goes A main here, but this is pretty much the same thing. I think because uh, Robs didn't immediately, like, get Bomb and jump up uh, towards B, he starts, like, searching out here, assuming he's, like, in the middle and kind of catches him in the open. This round is going to be more focused towards B. And this is where Kerrigan, he's going to be making this play through the smoke. And I'm going to show you guys why he actually did that. And you see Alexi, he's uh, he's shooting here. So Alexi's shooting through the, the wood. He's trying to go for spam kills. So now they know that there's one uh, in cave. And then after, JL throws this smoke here that's coming to the back. So he knows that JL is in this area. He just smoked. Kerrigan, he, he immediately makes that call. And Brokey's supplementing that with the smoke. Um towards short he goes through the smoke as as it's popping and catches jail off guard and pushes all the way up so now you can see all of this like kind of like in a flow so that's lxp he's spamming he hears the cave guy he sees the smoke get thrown off the wall walks through and now he's going to uh surprise jl really hard for jl there and it was really good that Brokey immediately like smoked short like off of all of this info that's happening. And we already had another smoke from FaZe. They already like supplemented Kerrigan's play with the second smoke. And now it's going to be really hard for them to win. And they pretty much are just going to have to save. Alexi's staying a really long time in a cave. Gets out just in time. And I actually really like this movement from Alexi. So he's doing this crouch strafe movement on this box where he knows that he's... You know, this is a very common uh, spot for the CTs to play. And look at the way that he crouch strafes this twice that was so clean from alexi and now i kind of want to highlight like the change in the macro for the cts for most of this half they either single molly on like the eco round or they smoked single molly with the flash 
So they kind of haven't been having too much pressure here uh, towards mid. They've been mostly saving their nades. But this is the first round they're going to be doing uh, double Molotovs. I think that they most likely were going to give up mid, but they're kind of giving it uh phases they didn't do a smoke to uh really push off alexi normally this the t's they'll have like a smoke in cave here but this round they didn't so alexi uh is feeling pretty comfortable here ima is also pretty comfortable i think that he was waiting to hear if um alexi was getting smoked off that's why i think that they were gonna give up mid but they were kind of just changing the look so they're like hey we're throwing double molotovs i'm gonna smoke right on top of it so he smokes right on top of it and usually when people throw like the smoke like that, you can kind of tell like that it was thrown like that as the T perspective. And you're like, okay, they're on mid. They were going to be playing passive, but he comes back. He throws another HE and they have a lot of info here. Alexi's comfortable. I am's comfortable. I actually thought that this was a really cool strat from FaZe. After the second smoke has gone mid, they're going to try to pop out mid. And they're going to be accomplishing this by not making it like super obvious where like as soon as that smoke is gone, they're going to like flash out. They're going for more information denials. I'm going to show this here with Rain. He's doing this uh, He's doing this smoke uh, where it's going to get rid of Alexi's vision. So he's going to smoke. It's going to come out here. And not only is it getting rid of Alexi's vision, but it's also covering the elbow players from this uh, triple position. And we also at the same time had Rops throwing this Lurk smoke out here. So he's going to be throwing this Lurk smoke. And we have two info denial smokes pretty much happening here. And as soon as those two smokes land, they kind of give it some breathing room. Because if you just throw the two smokes and you don't even let the CTs think about it, then they pretty much didn't do anything to begin with. So they kind of like let it breathe for a little bit. And now they start coming out. This molly was a little bit mistimed. So I am kind of had um, a really good timing for when like he should be starting to shoot, which was a, li a little small thing. But I think it got I am these two kill. Uh, uh, sorry, there's one kill here. So. But you'll see that I am. He's playing close. He sees the molly. And now he's super locked in. He's like, guys, it's mid. It's mid. The big thing that I was seeing like from this game, and it's really hard for FaZe to know, because if you look wonderful, he actually has not seen a lot of uh, action like on these rounds. But every time that he's held A, they haven't come A. So they don't know where the op is. But I think FaZe, they finally read that the op has not been playing B. And they call to do the the play where you boost the op on the box and just guiding your teammates going up the ramp. So that's what we're going to see. This was definitely the um, the call here. Like, okay, I'm going to post up. JL is probably playing towards long as he usually does. And now we're going to walk up. And they start popping into B. So I thought that this was a, a really good call. Brookie gets the opening pick onto bit. Kills just happen everywhere. Molly's some bag. And now it's really hard. And I am honestly kind of has to like go through there. He's just... Unfortunately, like the Molly is just not uh, getting put out. Which is just like a kind of a CSGO thing. Because he, he took a lot of extra damage there. As you can see, like... He, he kind of has to go. Because if he does not go here... The round is 100% like just not even winnable. So I think if the Molotov actually just gets extinguished quick enough, I feel like he would have had like a real chance to maybe kill the guy long, maybe make something happen here. But because he took so much damage from the Molotov, it, it kind of just makes it not possible. Now we got Anti-Eco from Navi. I thought that this was kind of a uh, mistake from FaZe to be pushing up close mid here without any nades so they pretty much just smoke but the players that are actually running mid they only have one he and it's not really enough um to kill these guys at mid when you only have one he and you'll actually see in the latter half of the game that they're gonna account for this multiple times even here kerrigan had like a slight chance if, if he actually won this fight against alexi b i think it would have been super possible but because Alexi B kind of just cleanly killed him, it was kind of kind of over and they kind of just have to save. So here we have the first gun rounds of the half. And we're going to have Navi go for the fake A rush into I am going for this kill at middle. So we're going to have smoke, smoke. And Wonderful is going to be faking the A rush here. And as soon as that happens, I am going to be running through. As soon as Wonderful throws this one more nade set, he starts running through, gets the kill into Frozen. That was a really big kill. He's going to get traded out by Rain. And I think Wonderful's kind of overcommitting here a little bit. The fake has already been sold. 
I am got the kill. So I think that was a little bit too much for him to be, you know, going out a main after I am already got the kill. We sold, we already had the fake sold. And I think that from that, they're probably assuming, you know, maybe one guy donut, maybe that's a rotate in the, the third rifler that's usually towards the A side of the map. And they saw that uh, Brokey was towards Temple. And if Wonderful was alive, they, they probably uh, could have got a little bit more going from this round, but it's all good. So here we're going to have Navi. They're going to want to take mid through the triple part of the map. And they're going to be doing that with this smoke that goes into cave. So the, sm the smoke cave is going to go in here. It's not going to be the one that's uh, out uh, more fluffy like this, where it's like blocking this info. It's going to be the one where you can actually you know, go around it. You're going to have your uh, mid player. I am normally people are going to molly this um, just so Frozen can't do this play where he's jumping up. And I think that if he if he did, they probably wouldn't have had these deaths. Uh, so Frozen jumps up. He actually gets the kill onto jail here with uh, with Rops. They get the trade, but I, th I think there's just a lot of craziness that was happening. Even Rain, he goes into the smoke and uh, shoots Alexi. Even Kerrigan, he had a really uh, big chance to win this round here. And Kerrigan had this kill, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, wonderful unfortunately just kills him and then rain has a really nice regression i like the way that he did this he kind of just staying at this part here he's not like over committing peaking triple yet starts peaking now on a really good time and that's exactly when bit and i am are like pushing into ruins sees nothing there and rops was pushing a main at the same time as you can see brookie's also checking on top of triple rain gets the bomb kill here He's not sure if there's still more guys coming from T-Spawn, and he's correctly reading. I thought this was really cool when I was watching T. I was like, nice read from Rain uh, as, as um, he looks behind himself. Unfortunately, he still dies, but it was a really good, uh, really good read from him. Yeah, I think that they're probably saying that they need to deal with this guy mid, and after they kill him, that they're going to go A. But Rops is actually just in such like an OP spot. Like, you're, you're pretty much never going to clear this. So he gets a he he's setting himself in a really good way where he gets this guaranteed kill, and then Brokey makes it in time uh, to be able to save Rops. And that was a hard shot too. Navi's been super in control of like all of these rounds. I feel like they they don't like to like put themselves in positions where like this crazy stuff happening. It's all very like controlled rounds where you you know exactly like what's what's going on so really really nice cs uh played out in like this finals and here we have hero ak onto bit and he gets a really sick shot off here i think that the k players have been getting really comfortable with no molotovs coming at him and bit just smashes him i thought that this was interesting because it reminded me of like the second round and then like the third round after where they forced they didn't have like enough nades for mid he goes for like the swing mid and now they have three nades mid i think that they probably didn't expect them to be like as low money that they would be like super fighting for mid but i liked how um alexi like brought back this round so they're down in a 4v5 they don't freak out they just make sure that jl is here for insurance at b any push that happens he's gonna kill them and if they you know go mid they like peak donut or something and they come back b they actually have um a way out of the round all three of the navi players are just gonna be walking on mid and I like that they did this dry, honestly. I think the chances of them like still playing like close mid isn't super high, and they probably would have won out the duels. And they're gonna clear out Frozen here. And I think that he should be doing like kind of like these like jiggle peaks. Because if you do just get peaked, you you'll die without even seeing him just like that. And this was a really nice rotate in from Brokey. He recognizes like instantly that like it's done. He runs in, he helps Rops, and he gets like this double kill. We still have JL here. I think Kerrigan probably wasn't going to be expecting another guy elbow. I, I think that it was a little bit of a, an unexpected spot for JL to be. And he had a really nice swing. Molly's back donut, grabs the bomb. Brookie, he was rotating towards towards B. Like, he had this point where he was, like, rotating towards B. And I think they over, overthought the, the read. But at the end of the day, it is just a read. Like, you have to guess, like, where you think that... Uh, the other guy's going and brookie had the right read this round unfortunately he's just a little bit slow because he did the run towards a and jl played this very well walks down towards ramp as soon as he clears this out i honestly knew that he won even right here when i was watching this live all he has to do now is just wait for the tap so he's still chilling all he has to do is just hold the push wait for the tap yeah there's the tap See, is he pushing me? Now he has to really check it for real. 
he headshots him even for the extra but he was one hp too and we got inferno and this is the last map of the series so they're going for this pistol here where wonderful and alexi they're kind of just waiting to see if they hear anything going fast towards b and they and then they're gonna want to rotate towards 4a i felt like the timing of like when they want to do those rotate is super early considering most people don't really like play fast banana defaults like on uh t pistol so i feel like this was kind of like an anti b rush pistol specifically phase is going to be coming a here bet he's holding the heavy god angle where he just owned us sees robs and this was really uh really good from ima yeah he was actually planning to jump up anyway so this was perfect they see it and then they decide to double push halls really good call and then bit makes a really nice play that he hides in a window he uh not like super intentionally because he was checking mid and then Brokey's assuming that he's playing into halls so Brokey starts running to try to clear like end of halls and go into halls and bit like was going uh window to check mid so now we're gonna have an eco from phase and then this was a really big kill from rops so he, as that smoke is popping he gets in front of it and he kills bit on the swing if maybe it was something more than an mp9 it could have been something extra and then alexi b he's at a, a really good position here to be able to like multi-frag here so he gets the first one i think the only thing that i was thinking while i was watching this is i think that he should have stayed close if he gets this kill and then he starts pushing forward and he like gets them so that they line up so if he pushes up on this left side here towards like the bell then he would have actually lined up frozen and brokey and i'm not even saying that like to hindsight if you have to like aim at like this guy and then transfer to this guy and then transfer to like this guy it's going to be harder than if you just have like two guys like right next to each other like in a square or even if you line them up it's just going to be easier so i think that he should have pushed forward on the left and he would have lined them up easier than uh pushing backwards and i think he had more potential to multi-frag and thankfully jl is here in time at the off angle gets two really clean kills i thought that they were using their, their nades really well i think that was the thing that uh i was like paying attention to of like how many like he kills and how much like he damage they were getting here because the way that people are like playing banana right now they use this smoke that gets here like in the beginning of the round and it'll get the deep molly they'll play around bell like the same way that you wouldn't see us go but it's even more op now because it just opens up the smoke and you can see like if you've just molly logs you know for sure that they're like not in that smoke and like gonna go like back through it or anything like that and it's just a lot of like guaranteed kind of damage there so here's going to be like a really nice uh movement round from phase or from navi sorry alexi gets the smoke from uh from jl here uses the last smoke so they have no more smokes left at B. Something that 100% FaZe is saying, no smokes, no smokes. And they're going to just figure out like what they should be doing now. And I liked that Navi is pushing mid here. So they're checking anything mid, instantly seeing nothing. And FaZe, while this is happening, I guarantee you that they're being like, guys, they have no smokes, uh, they have no smokes left on the map. Let's just group up B. And now the Halls player and the Boiler player are both like making sure that they get close to the B guys so that they can do like their pop. And while that's happening, Navi's already reclearing mid. They set bit under porch and I am like holding just in case it is a Hulse pop. And Wonderful is here in time with the op. Already, this is pretty much like checkmate. Even though that they used up all their smokes, they still made the round look like it was like in their hands the entire time. Even though normally you would be in a really tough position, like not having any smokes left at 30, 35 seconds left. I liked Alexi's like movement here. Like, thank God that there was no one logs because if there was anyone logs, he would have died. But he, he makes it under car and they, oh my god, they get flashed. So they throw one flash car and because that flash car happened, Rain doesn't see him crossing to car. And now they have just like this dirty peek that <laughs> Alexi B does. Jail on sandbags to just kill anyone. And if anything happened, Wonderful would have just owned him. I think Wonderful actually threw that flash. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sorry. That was Wonderful that threw the flash. Okay, sorry. Yeah, this was completely set up like the entire time. So now we're going to have like a big change up from Navi where we're going to have three playing in halls as opposed to them playing 3B for like all these rounds or like one leaning towards B just in case like any uh, rush happens. So we're actually going to have a hall set up here. They do the phase smoke. Molly's down and the B players, they're just doing their thing. I also wanted to highlight this jump because I, I they saw it on the broadcast. But honestly, this jump is hard. He did miss it. This I feel like it's so inconsistent. It's like it is possible to to do it silently, but I mean you might as well. The alternative is like they hear you anyway. So they have this, and Bit is just gonna own him. Rops has to take like a 50-50. Either he's bottom boiler or he's where Bit is. And then this was nice that he he's just going for more. 
gets the kill on Frozen. They think that he's resetting, but he just goes for more. Kills the guy under Balk and then spray transfers to the other guy on right side mid. So they're playing 3B here. And I feel like they were anticipating that they were going to play fast B. And I say that because normally you would see JL like playing around sandbags. And because he throws the nade and just like instantly comes back to corner, I am is already ready with the flash. They, they are anticipating that they're going to play a fast car here. They were right on it. And as soon as this molly is gone, they're going to get flash right back in. They don't find anything, but they instantly get that info that they don't have car. And now FaZe doesn't necessarily know that there was 3B there. All they know for sure is that they retook car. Navi is, of course, playing for them to come back mid off of that timing. Unfortunately for them, it is going to be B on this round, but that's kind of just how the map is. You kind of just have to like make the read. You have to like make a decision of like, do you think they're going to be going, you know, heavy B? Do, should we play for 4A? You know, what type of read do we want to make? Because we can't play for everything. That's pretty much how, how it is. So I think that they even had um, a really good chance on this retake here. So JL gets a really big spam kill. I am was actually even playing this uh, super well. So he's just holding just in case they actually start pushing him. He's making sure that the players that are coming from back calls and CT play first. Unfortunately for him, like he, he would have had to even play even slower, but it's good that he waited for the kill, but he might have, I think it would have been, you know, better in, in like a hindsight type of way where as soon as like you get the kill, you wait like two more seconds and then you start peeking. Super hard to make that decision like in, in the game. I felt like the way that Navi played this made it seem like FaZe actually had no options here. So they start 3B. I am drops all of his nades for the B players. So these guys are mollying. And I thought that this molly, I don't, I, I don't know if it was intentional, but normally when you Molotov deep banana like this, like at this time of the round, a lot of times, like when you throw it early like this, it'll get extinguished by the molly. But the way that he threw it, like it, it didn't get extinguished by the molly and it actually landed. Not like in terms of it being a bug, but in terms of like it can be replicable. It ends up spreading on Frozen, but that's not really the part that I thought that was cool. I just thought the way that like it actually landed was really big. They take banana control and now phase. They already were smoking left mid off of that. They can't really react. And now they're going to have JL playing bottom B. They're rotating to 4A. So Bit rechecks halls. And then JL, he re-smokes bottom B. And you can see that FaZe were getting ready to come back B. And I feel like because they were actually going to go B here, like the call was to go B, and JL smoked that, they had to decide like in this moment, okay, well, crap, what do I do now? But Navi is, they already just re-cleared mid. So they're 4A currently, and they just re-cleared mid. Alexi B is like kind of like posturing to be like ready to go towards B, but... They are 4A in such a good position here. And FaZe like had no chance here. They had no flashes. They couldn't go through that bottom B smoke even if they wanted to because they would have just died. They can't go mid because Wonderful is already there with an op and they're 4A. There was actually just no chance for them in this round. So this was really good, really good looking round overall. I felt like FaZe actually had no options. I don't even know what they could have done. Just the way that Navi played it makes makes you feel like there's there's no options. So here's the pistol from Navi. As I was watching this, I was wondering like, is this a read where, you know, they figured out that it was like three towards B here? And it's like, okay, what could the read be exactly? Could it be that there's no one car and then they're just like assuming that there's nothing here? But then it seems like that they were planning to do this from the start. I could be wrong. Either way, I think it was a cool pistol. Smoke left mid, smoke moto. Molly Pit, all all the kills just go Navi's way. Really hard to be able to hold as a CT without dualies. Jail and Graveyard. And that's the pistol for Navi. So they know that phase is gonna be forcing here. As soon as they're on like this anti-force, very first round, um, like after the pistol, they're just going for this group play where they're going to do like this lane pop here. So they're playing double halls. They smoke close left mid, just so they don't have to worry about that cubby. Start walking up close. JL's holding the smoke. Gets that kill. Vic gets the retrade. And Bit just, just kills everyone. I mean, he kills too, but those, that second kill was crazy. <laughs> and now they see Kerrigan Molly off of this car wall. And... I have an idea that they thought that it was 4A. 
because the way that Kerrigan is throwing nades right now, it kind of looks like it looks like someone's just like throwing nades because they have a lot of nades. Now, I don't know if that was intentional, but the way that he threw like the the molly like on that timing and then the flash, like you can tell that it's a guy CT, you know, and it just looks like the guy has a lot of nades. So when they see him jiggling, I don't think that like Navi was like ex like when they started this round out, they weren't like ready to just like run into B like off this because if they were, then they wouldn't have two guys in alt slash halls. So as soon as they see him jiggling, they're like, it's 4A, I'm going to just run in. This guy's alone at CT. So I'm pretty sure that was their read, and that's why that they're running in. Now, they're not expecting Frozen here. But I'm pretty sure that was the read. And I remember looking at Twitch chat, everyone's just like, lol, kek W, and everything. And if you think about it from that, like, it makes a lot of sense. Like, the way that Kerrigan was throwing nades, it looks like it was 4A because of how he was throwing the nades and that he's the solo guy CT. They obviously just tried going B. So face probably rotated at least 3B on this. And if they just walk up rap with the rifles and they get this rotate kill, like really hard for Brookie to win that. And JL taking his time here, 21 HP, really nice. Gets the kill back site. Like just a very nice like I'm in control of this round, and that's how I felt about their 4VX on um, on Ancient 2. And now we have the last round. This round was actually so funny to watch when I was watching the player cams. That Molly was actually really good. Denies FaZe from taking it, because they I, I think they did want to take it there. With the smoke and the Molly's everything in conjunction. Really good car Molly, pushes them back, and now they're just chilling. They're not like doing anything crazy, they're just kind of seeing, okay, do, do FaZe still want to take car? Do they still want to try to push down? And now Lexi is uh, figuring out all the nades. It's like, you got, you have to have these nades. I have to have this. They molly close. And now they start coming up. And I actually really like that they did the double flashes here. So when they were uh, coordinating that, they made sure that Wonderful had, uh, had a flash from the back. And they're making sure that they have two flashes here just in case they were boosted on porch so really nice that they had like the flash and then the second flash from the back i really like that part when i was watching it now they have this double here i am gets a really big entry like that entry from i am was was really big and then bit being ready at end of halls to be able to swing afterwards gets the kill on rops and then they win out the trades here and i thought it was so funny when i was watching because the player cams like Bit and uh, I am were already celebrating and like Alexi B is like smiling. He's probably saying like, yo guys, one sec, one sec, let, let us win real quick. <laughs> I feel like that's what he was saying. It was so funny to watch. But yeah, overall, I felt like the games were really fun to watch, really fun finals. I'm sure that you guys enjoyed it too. Really cool to see. I think Alexi B called really, really well. Players stepped up. If you watched the end of this, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comments whatever your favorite part of, of the video was or whatever you want to see more of, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.